I'll be demoing the Immersive Reader, which is built into the free new Edge browser, which is based on the Google Chrome project. So everything about Edge under the hood is like Chrome and interoperates. But on top, we've added new capabilities just like the Immersive Reader. So first, I'm going to go to this Wikipedia page, any web page. I'm going to double click on a word here to select and right click and say read aloud from here. The Colosseum could hold an estimated 50,000 to 80,000. So you're seeing word and line highlighting on any web page, and this works anywhere. I can go over here, and I'm going to go here, right click, and say read aloud from here. To make it easier to connect with each other. And that's a high quality voice. Notice on voice options, I can go and make it faster or slower, and I'm going to choose a voice. Jessa is our brand new neural text to speech voice, but there are many options you can choose for the voice. Now, beyond read aloud on any page, what's even better is many pages now support what we call the full immersive reader view. So this is the Microsoft Education blog. I'm going to go up here and click in the upper right, Enter Immersive Reader. And you'll see we actually simplify the page, we reduce distractions. We have read aloud, but we also have text preferences. So if I want to make the text bigger, maybe I want to change those background themes because we've shown how an immersive reader you can change the background colors really easy for some folks that like to read with a different background. I can widen the text spacing to reduce visual crowding. Now if I click on grammar tools, I can break the words into syllables with a single click. I can highlight the parts of speech just like in the immersive reader you've seen everywhere else. The verbs, the adjectives, I can turn on labels. So it's very customizable experience to be able to have right there on this web page. To leave Immersive Reader, I just go back and I click the little Immersive Reader button that says Exit Immersive Reader. Now this also works on many news articles. So here I am on the New York Times and there's an article with ads and pictures. And I'm going to go and click the button Enter Immersive Reader. And you'll see the same thing. So with that New York Times article now, I can do all the same things that we talked about. I can change the background color, spacing, syllables, all of the above. And it works on many news articles and many blogs. Now, for those of you that are daring, you can download the daily Edge builds to get even newer features. So here is the Microsoft Edge Insider. And if you go to MicrosoftEdgeInsider.com, you can download a beta build, dev channel, or Canary. What Canary means is you get the daily latest updates with all the new features. So now I'm in the Canary build, and here's a chunk of text. I'm going to select some text, and I'm going to right-click, and you'll notice there's an open in Immersive Reader choice. When I choose that, it takes that exact text, pops it into this immersive reader view. And now I can do all those same things that we were talking about. But we've got some new things like line focus. So if I want to focus on a single line, maybe in the background green, I can go up and down with line focus here. We've added more grammar tools. So now we've got adverbs. So if I want to highlight adverbs on the page, that's really easy to do. And we're adding more and more capabilities right here. So that is a way that you can have any text that you select on a page to be able to select that text and right click and choose open an immersive reader.